this one? Yeah. Guess where we are? Um, Victoria. Close. South Australia, where the white ponies are. Yeah, <laughs> we, we left three days ago. After the craziness of the cyclone season up north, we decided to pack the rig up and head off to South Australia in search of some rawness and no people. got up and it was a bit of a slow start because we've been driving for like three days so we just had a cuppa and slowly made our way up the road. There's no rush, a few roos on the road that time of morning. Yeah we drove for about 2,000 kilometres, roughly about three days and didn't see the ocean for that whole time and uh, we were just so excited to get to the ocean. We drove up to the cliffs and what we saw was absolutely crazy. So we jumped out of the car, ran to the cliffs and just what we saw was just the absolute edge of Australia. Remember we had troubles, yeah we did the hubs first. Yep. So I remember. Yeah. So we then went and locked the hubs in and started heading off in search of somewhere to camp for the night and have some dinner and just have a little chill for a bit because we were pretty buggered from the big drive. You know, you know what we would have had to have done? What? We would have had to have stopped, yeah. taken everything off the car yeah. and then let the tyres down and then try to get out that way. 100%. Instead of like trying to get bog out, it out and bog it right and down to the axle. It, yeah, fuck. Boy, that would have been so bad. So remember that for next yeah, time. Oh, I shit myself <laughs> then. <laughs> so, my foot was going to get bogged. Oh, oh, fucking hell. I'm so glad we're going back. Oh, are you happy? Yeah. Hey, hey, it's like we just won the fucking world title. Yeah. <laughs> we just won the lottery. Hey, I'm fucking eating up. Ah. I can't take my shirt off. Well, you got snapped at you then because I was freaking out. Freaking oh, out. No, no. Right, I just got to make it off this track now. So follow, follow the sun, the direction of the birds, the direction of love. So after dinner we uh, we sat down and made some plans to go for fish in the morning. We checked the tides and the tides looked perfect for the early fish. Uh, we had no fish left in the freezer, so we decided to get up early and get into it. Brand new moon, brand new sun. Up, tied me slug on, threw it out first cast. I was on, hooked up straight away, and from then on, I knew fishing was going to be good down here. Good eating, nice fish. Oh, <laughs> what does your heart say? <laughs> Always 
always bleed your fish because it's better for the fish, puts it out of the misery and there's no blood in it either so it's better for you and better for the fish. Got a good feed of fish that day. I was so stoked because we had no fish at all and you know we, we don't want to eat meat, we just want to eat fish and live on fish and, and rice pretty much. So cheap and it's so healthy for you. So we just go and fillet them and then pack them and then put them in the fridge. And we got fish for a week there, curries, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so we had a couple of crazy sessions at this ride and then we snapped all our boards out there so all of a sudden we had no boards for four or five weeks so we turned to fishing and went and lived on the cliffs and just hooked into our fishing for four or five weeks. Woo! Watch where you're walking, Nolan. Oh, we're all right, dude. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't know if you can see, but that's where we got to get down there. <laughs> Well, I've been thinking about the future Just seen like a 12 foot set hit out on this reef and it was absolutely incredible. Wait, just waiting for another one and then we're going to go fishing. <laughs> we're here, we just got to get down now. No fish on that trip, but it was all good. Charles just went down and uh, picked up some periwinkles off the rocks and some abalone, and we took them back to the fire and cooked them on the on the grill. That was beautiful. What are you doing there, Talia? Just shucking a uh, ab, pulling back that way. What do you do with the with the guts of it when we're finished? We're gonna take that all out and then bag it up for tomorrow. We're gonna use it for burley for some groper, which will be good, good burley. And um. And the ab. What are we gonna do with the ab tonight? I'm going to cut the edges off of it and then I'm going to cut it really nice and thin and then I'm going to put it in some soy sauce and some hot oil. Yeah. Do you like abalone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your friend? Yes. Yes. It's true. It's true. Are you excited? I'm a bit more excited than what the abalone are. They're not liking <laughs> this um, flesh out of the periwinkles with a pin or something like that but we didn't have a pin so we just used a screwdriver. Did the job fine eh? We had a good feed and finished the night off next to the fire and just soaked it all in. It was unreal. So we've been fishing this one spot underneath the cliff a couple times with no success and uh, we just kept plugging away out there and this one morning we went down there, we got all our crabs and Save that. threw a few baits out wow. and bang. Yeah, my honey done! Oh, he's 
a fucking good fish. Ah, just in there. Oh, oh. Fuck, here's a good fish. And now Bennett. Oh no. Big groper. <laughs> oh, get another bait out there. Oh, you get another bait out there. <laughs> Told ya. Fuck, he was, oh, he, was, he was like Did that. Did you see him? Yeah. yeah. Said he's <laughs> Did you see that white tail? Yeah, big oh. fucking white tail on oh. him. Right here. Oh, it's that big fish again. Good grab though. Oh, Let him go. I was halfway through pulling in this groper, and then all of a sudden the handle of the owie just flew off and I started blowing up. Oh, my fucking handle! All right. Hang on. Here, yeah, pass it, here, pass it. Need, need to. Yeah, yeah, hold him need there. Need to wind it up. Oh, fuck. Be careful. Wind it in. Yeah, 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 hold him there. 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 Yeah, Yeah, I see. It's down there still. Yeah, I'll go off. Uh, oh. You got him? Yeah. Uh. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, let him go. <laughs> Let's go get this handle. Is it still red? It seemed like every crab we threw in that just smashed. That was just frenzying. It was absolutely crazy. It's a good fish. Grover, 25 pound mono is probably the highest we'll go uh, just because it gives the fish more of a chance and it's more exciting when you get a hooker. We found over the years fishing for Groper that you don't always have to lock up on them, you can just let them run. And even if they brick you, sometimes they'll just come out of their holes, they'll swim out, because you're fishing so light. And yeah, that's what we found that works the best for us. Get ready down here, I'm gonna land him. Under the water, 
water with these beautiful fish and watch them swim away back into the ocean. It gives me a better feeling than surfing. It just makes me feel alive and just to watch another living creature swim off again is the best feeling in the world. Yeah, you will. No. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let me get around this side. Get, get ready to land him. Yeah, I've got him turned. Oh, he's a fucking nice groper. He's coming in here. Get down there. Over here. Beautiful fish. He's hooked beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Bite me on the face. Gotta let this one go. I got some good footage here then. I'm pulling some good heads, eh? Okay. That's it, just let him go. Let's bite him out, he's a groper. That's right, I'm washing him into here. Yeah, yeah, hold him. Okay, stay calm. Well, should I wash him down no, into there? Just focus on the fish. Here he is just here. Oh, he's a big one. Hold him up, it's all right. He's gonna tire out. Wash him up into here and I'll go and land him, all right? And I might try and get him into here. He's fucking a good fish. Stay up high, all right? Yep. You gonna go again? Where do you want him? Quick, I'll wash him into here. Oh, what a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. Where can we put him? Hang on. <laughs> what are we going to do with it? We're keeping him, aren't we? Yeah. We need food. Yeah. Thank you for this beautiful fish. We're so lucky. And this is why we do it. We need food. We've got no food in the esky, in our fridge. We've been hunting this fish for about a week now. Really appreciative. And it's a bloody beautiful fish. Oh. We're so lucky. This is what it's all about. Hunting for your food. You only take what you need. And that's what we're doing here today.
end of our time staying on the cliff, it was nice to just sit back and reflect on how good it was just to, just to soak it all in and concentrate on fishing and living and not having to worry about chasing waves all the time. So it was the perfect opportunity for us just to really get back to nature and, and just enjoy what we love doing the most. That was special.